The vitreous gel is a clear jelly-like gel that fills the inside of the eye. It's in close proximity to the retina, which is the back wallpaper of the inside of the eye. As we get older, the vitreous gel turns from a jelly-like substance into a liquid and shrinks a little bit. As it shrinks, it can pull away from the surface of the retina and create a posterior vitreous separation. During a posterior vitreous separation, a patient would experience a new onset of floaters in their vision. These floaters are typically gray to black, can look worm-like or like spider webs, and these would be something completely new to the patient and there should be a sudden onset of them. Over time, these floaters will become less apparent and most people typically get used to them and do not notice them as much. Typically for a posterior vitreous separation, there is no real treatment that we offer as it is a normal age-related process. However, in some cases, a posterior vitreous separation can also be associated with a retinal problem, such as a retinal tear or detachment, since the vitreous gel is separating from the surface of the retina. Sometimes as the gel separates, there can be a sticky point between the vitreous and the retina, and as the gel pulls away, it can pull a tear in the retina. When a tear develops in the retina, typically we want to see the patient urgently and fix it by performing laser work to spot weld the area around the tear so it doesn't extend. Sometimes if we do not catch this soon enough, it can develop into a retinal detachment where a patient may, see, may feel like they're losing part of their vision. In these cases, uh, urgent surgery is often warranted and the retina must be repaired in the operating room.